Welcome! This video is all about using Obsidian for your solo gaming. Um, if you don't know what Obsidian is, it is a markdown editor that is pretty, it's kind of like Notion, uh, and it is pretty awesome for keeping track of your games. I use it personally for my solo games, but you can also use it if you're not playing solo games, if you're running sessions and stuff like that, it's great for keeping track of everything like that. But this is what this video is just about how I use it specifically to keep track of my stuff and why you should look into using it too. So virtual tabletops, there are tons of options. Everybody knows about Roll20. Um, Foundry VTT is another big one, and it is one that I have used in the past that I really enjoy using, one, if they have the system that I need, and two, if I'm running a game for other people, but uh, not so much using it for solo play. Although I do have to say it does have an add-on that will... Um, what is it? Automate Mythic GME for you, which is really awesome. But other than that, it's just, it's a big piece of software. It's a lot to run. And I am always trying to figure out how to make things more minimalistic. Another thing is, is I don't really do maps, um, which we'll talk about. But if you are really into doing the whole map, setting the scene visually, all that stuff. Foundry VTT might be something you want to look into, but uh, that's not so much for me. Even when I'm running games for other players, it's always in theater of the mind. Um, another thing that I've done a video on previously that I've used as a virtual tabletop is Miro.app, which is awesome. Um, specifically, it's it's just basically a gigantic whiteboard and you can copy paste stuff in there, take screenshots of uh, PDFs, paste them in there, paste actual full PDFs in there. It's pretty awesome. But it's online and it's you get three free whiteboards to share with others and then you have to pay. And then I had the issue with um, when the, the whiteboards got bogged down which made which would make uh more intricate games go quite a bit slower and be a bit more laggy that kind of thing so that's kind of why I've moved away from that a little shout out um if you're ever running a game for your group and you're not like your theater of the mind uh Discord has a new whiteboard app. Well, I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. I didn't realize it was there until a while ago. And I've been using that with my players. And you can copy paste screenshots. Sorry, no, you can't. You have to upload images. Either way, that's a little bit more frustrating, but it's really awesome. And you also have access to GIFs. And my players love making a story out of the gifts, um, correlating with what's going on in our sessions. It's great. Uh, that's just a little shout out to that because we have fallen in love with that. And then on to Obsidian, which we're talking about today and that I've landed on for my own solo gaming. So why Obsidian? Uh, it's customizable. You can pretty much make it however you want. And I'm not going to go, this is not a video about how to set up your Obsidian Vault for solo gaming. This is just, you know, me telling you why you might want to look into it. So you, the themes are customizable. You can customize the look. You can customize your, your view here. Um, as you can see, I got a couple things going on. Uh, yeah, all of that. The second thing, and what made me switch from Miro to Obsidian, is Excaladraw, which is you can have images and PDFs, um, 
and copy paste that in there. You can add your own text to these things. You can make flow charts. Let's see, I've made this flow chart here for the player emulator pet. Um, I have adventure lists, all these really cool things, visual aids that help keep track of uh, your campaigns. And especially my big thing with games is I want to use the character sheet that comes with the book. And that's why I've always been drawn to these whiteboard type uh, solutions because then I can have the pretty character sheet and the way that it's supposed to be. And so that's really cool to me. Um, I enjoy that a lot. Of course, you could also just type out the character sheets, but where's the fun in that? So you can also, I did make a note in here, and I, I mean, you can use Excaladraw for your maps and stuff and make it work. Um, but I personally don't use maps, so I don't have too much to say about that. Um, the other reason you might want to use it is it's local. It's not online. You don't have to be online to access it. Uh, apparently, Obsidian does offer like a publish thing that is paid, so you could see it online, have access to it online um, through your devices. But I don't have that. I only access. I only need access with my computer. But if you are the type of person who needs access to the same thing um, via your phone or tablet and your you want to access your vault from all of your devices, I don't know if there is a solution that is not paid in order to do that with Obsidian, which might be a might be a con on your list. Um, other awesome thing is you are linking, you can link notes, uh, like a wiki, like Notion. Um, I don't have too many link notes in here because I, my ADHD brain, it doesn't let me do that. I just keep everything in one spot. Um, but if you do have, we'll go to the reading here. So if you do have a link note, you just hover over it. It pops up what the note is and that's pretty cool to me. It's an easy way to easy way to keep track of what is going on um, and not get lost because you can like end up with a ton of notes in here. Um, yeah, simple markdown. All of this is markdown, and I like markdown. I find it intuitive. Some people don't like markdown at all, but then that's this is not for you if you're not into that and so my setup you can see I have a few things going on here and we'll get into what I have um, the obsidian it comes with core plugins which okay I'm not gonna go into those but the big thing is the community plugins and the ones that I have, I've got automatic table of contents, which automatically, you know, forms a table of contents at the beginning of the note, so I can access um, different sections of it easily. CSV table, in case you need to paste your um, tables into the into a note here. Custom frames, which lets me do this cool thing where I can pull in internet. Uh, websites, data view. This is just this is usually a standard that you have to have um, to for others to work. Dice roller, which you can see over here, and dice roller is really cool because it not only just gives you this layout where you can roll, click these dice and roll them and get the result. It can manifest the dice on the screen. I wonder if I have that. Yes, I do have that enabled. Um, render the dice. It can, you can create rollable tables. Um, I don't think I have any right now, but I can, whoops. Let's see. 
I'm not making a rollable table here, but I'll just show you. You just, it's as simple if I need a D10 and 2D8, then you can have inline rolling like that if I know that's what I'm, that's a dice roll that I'm going to make a lot. Uh, so you can see how that would come in handy if you build your character sheets in a note. Then you just have, you just put in your little formula there. It's super nifty. Uh, I am a little disappointed that right now you cannot pull in um, those formulas. Yeah, you can't do that in here. So I can't, like, I can't make this uh, dice, which is unfortunate, but it's not that hard for me to figure out what I'm doing, then go over here and roll. And you can make your own dice rolls if none of these suit you. So that's pretty nifty, in my opinion. Um, we also have Excaladraw, which I've shown you. That's this whiteboard here um, that you can put pr use for pretty much anything. And then Style Settings. And Style Settings let you change the look of your vault. And then Table Generator, which just Table Generator just allows you to make tables easier. Um, and I would make lots of rollable tables uh, in the past, so that's why I have those. As for my theme, you may be wondering um, what this is. It's called Mado Mini Flow. I'll pop it on here real quick. You can see Mado Mini Flow. Uh, the ITS theme is also very, very popular. Uh, but I like Mini Flow because it, the less things I have to look at while I'm playing, the better. Because I get really distracted. So, yeah, you just hover and it's got all your things. Of course, you need to know where to hover to, you'll have to familiarize yourself with everything. Um, yeah, I have my uh, GM's Apprentice. This is, uh, what is this? Who is this? James Turner Online.net. I use this instead of pretty much anything else. This is my emulator. I just use different parts of it for everything. It's really awesome. Highly suggest. It all works in line. It is awesome. Um, and you can, I could drag this guy over here. Let's see. Well, no, it's not doing it. It's making a liar out of me. There it goes. How many tabs do I need open? Who knows? But <laughs> that's pretty cool to me. You can keep track of everything on one screen, and that's what matters most to me when it comes to solo gaming. So... Who is Obsidian good for? If you are a minimalist, if you like theater of the mind, if you do not need all the fancy bells and whistles that come with the more heavy-hitting VTTs such as Foundry or Roll20, this could be good for you. If you are heavy on the note-keeping and want a very organized um, area, this could be good for you. Foundry does have note-keeping capabilities, but I find that's a bit clunky. And I, it's just, I'm not a fan of um, keeping track of everything in there, which also made me <laughs> go to find something else. Uh, let's see. Lightweight. That was a big one, is before I updated my graphics card, if I was running Foundry, I couldn't run Chrome. Um, I definitely couldn't run OBS. So it's... I had to find something that was lighter weight for my computer. This is built in Chromium, which is pretty white, lightweight. And, uh, yeah. So that is that. That is why you should maybe give Obsidian a look for your solo gaming. I highly suggest it. It is versatile. You can pretty much do anything you want to do in it. Um, besides have really fancy maps. I mean, Excaladraw, you can only do so much. <laughs> but 
if this looks good to you, I've got all of the links to the theme, Obsidian, the links to the plugins, um, they're all in the description. Uh, if you heard me talking about Foundry VTT and you are more interested in something like that, I'll throw the link to that in there. I personally have not used Roll20, um, but that's also an option. And yeah, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. It's a quick little video, but I hope that I showcase some of the reasons that you might want to use this. Um, yeah. And oh, yeah. That's it. Like and subscribe if you like what you have watched and I will be around with some more content, um, some actual play stuff and reviews, stuff like that. That's my plan. I will see y'all later. Bye.